Hello class, in this tutorial we learn about the depreciation calculation. So what is depreciation? Depreciation is basically a reduction in the value of an asset over time due to many reasons particular to wear and tear. So this tutorial part of application will only cover the simple applications and in the coming two parts you will understand more detailed and complex calculations regarding the depreciation. So let's begin. Suppose in your question, these are the initial cost of the asset. This is the scrap value and this is the life. So basically, as per your course, we'll be covering only two methods of depreciation, straight line depreciation and fixed line depreciation. So the syntax for straight line depreciation is cost, salvage and life. This is basically will return you the amount which remain constant year after year. That is every year you will deduct a constant amount of depreciation by using this formula. So how to use this formula equals to SLN tab, go, select this cost, then salvage value and life. That is 90,000 rupees that this is the depreciation for each year. So you if you are, have been asked to prepare this table, then the opening balance will remain as the initial cost of the asset. The depreciation is SLN. This is the cost. Just fix this cost. Salvage value, fix this salvage value. And life, fix this life. Bracket close. And closing balance is nothing. This is basically the difference of opening balance and depreciation. Now, in the next year, the opening balance will be equals to the closing balance of the previous year. So simply use equals to formula and closing balance of the previous year. Enter. Depreciation will remain as 90,000 only and closing balance will remain as opening balance minus depreciation. So, so I'm using control D function here. Now you don't have to do anything. You just have to select the entire row and just select the below cells and do control D. So now you will see the table is complete and the closing balance after the fifth period is the scrap equals to scrap value only. So this is simple. Now the next question is fixed declining balance method and this is nothing. This is basically the written down value method. So in this method, the value of depreciation will keep on reducing. So this is very simple. Calculate. DB cost. Cost is now fixed. Fix the cost. Salvage is fixed. Fix the salvage. Life is fixed. Fix the life. Comma. Now it is asking for the period. This is for the first year. Select this. We are not going to fix it. Then the next syntax is month. This is optional. What does optional mean? It it means that if we are not entering anything here, then it means that the asset has been utilized for the whole year. That the asset was purchased on the very first day of the year. That is on 1st January. If your year is financial year is from 1st January till 31st March, 31st December. So it will assume that the asset has been purchased on the very first day. So for the right, for the time being, we are assuming that the asset has been purchased on the very first day that is being utilized for the full 12 months just close the brackets now do control d control d it will give you the question for depreciation in six period it will definitely return a num error because the asset has been has a life of only five years simple calculate the opening balance will be equals to the Oh, initial cost depreciation we have already calculated that is what cost salvage life and period and closing balance is nothing the difference of opening and depreciation now the opening balance will be equal to the closing balance of the previous year. Depreciation will be same. Closing balance will be the same. That is the difference between opening and depreciation and simply do control D. Control D is for creating the duplicate values. 
this is created. Now we'll take the example. What if the asset has been purchased during the year? So suppose I'm assuming that the asset is purchased on 1st October 2018 and your year is ending on is ending on 31st December 2018. Now you will see that the asset has been utilized only for three months that is October, November and December. So in this particular example, if you see if the if the straight line depreciation is giving you 90,000, this is for complete year, but we now want only for three years in the first period. After that, it is full, full, full period, full period. And the remaining months which have been left in one first period, we'll calculate that in the sixth period. That is the balancing nine months calculation. We'll calculate in the sixth period. So this is for your note that whenever the month information is given in your question, then the life of the asset will increase by one. I hope this is clear by one because in first period, only the only the depreciation up to a particular period has been calculated and the remaining period has to be calculated after the life of the asset. Simple. Now, in this depreciation, you have to use what? After calculating the SLN formula, you have to multiply this by 3 because it has been used only for 3 periods, divide by 12. So this is for 3 period only. And in the end month, this is equals to closing balance. Depreciation is basically SLN cost salvage life multiply by multiply by nine months divide by 12 this is for remaining now you will see after the sixth period your closing balance is now equals to the scrap value similarly in written down value method if the asset is being purchased on 1st october then it is very simple how is it simple i'll tell you the periods will definitely get increased by one. This is the normal definition. But it will help you because in depreciation formula, you get the months information in the formula itself. You So you don't have to do any multiplication or anything. You just simply write three months here and then simply do a control D. It will calculate on its own. I'll show you. This is this. This is this. 2000. This is basically an approximation. So in this, you just simply have to use an, a formula and nothing else. Okay. I hope this is clear to you.